All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this. I believe there's a Samsung. Yep. Samsung notebook uh, model 940X. All right. The exact model is NP940X3G. All right. So first thing we're going to use is a PH0 or JS0 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. All right. Just get them all out. You want to keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So we have this rectangular shape. Okay, so we're just going to put them in that shape. Okay, just like this. <clears throat> All right. All right, if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna get all these screws out. All right. <clears throat> So far, all the screws appear to look about the same. So if you do mix them up, it's probably not a big deal, but it's always a good idea to try and keep all the same screws together. All right, and then I believe for this one, you can kind of push this slot down and then lift here. Yep. All right, and it feels like it's stuck over here for some reason. Hopefully there's no hidden screw or something. Okay, nope, I just had to pull like that, and there we go. So this cover came off pretty easily. This battery is bad, so that's what we're replacing. Here you can see Samsung, all right, lithium polymer battery. Um, and they have a model number here. I don't know if you can search it with that, but I just searched using the model of the laptop and searched battery. All right, anyways, <clears throat> looks like the RAM is soldered to the motherboard, so you can't replace that. Um, I can actually pop this metal plate off maybe and see underneath, but I'm pretty sure it looks like it's soldered in. It's too close to the motherboard. Yeah, definitely soldered in. So if you look in here, the RAM is part of the motherboard, so you can't replace that, okay? Um, unless you have some special soldering skills and are able to do that, but yeah, I don't do that kind of repair. All right, CPU is soldered to the motherboard. There's an M.2 um, SATA SSD. I don't know if this supports PCIe NVMe, um, I'm not going to experiment with it because it's not mine to mess with. It's a customer's computer. Um, you got the keyboard connector here, keyboard backlight. I'm guessing this is the touchpad or trackpad connector. You have this cable, which looks like it runs along to here for the headphone jack, uh, mini, I think that's a mini or micro HDMI, USB 3.0 port, wireless antenna. You also have this cable also connecting those two together. All right, I don't know what this little cable's for. Maybe fingerprint sensor. Speaker connector running along here. And then the other speaker running along here. So it looks like this one, they actually connected both speakers separately. Um, not much else. You got the LCD LVDS connector. If you're gonna mess with this, after you remove the battery, make sure to press open the laptop, press and hold the power button for 15 seconds at least to make it safe to work on. You got the DC jack charge port connector here running underneath this plastic piece and going over here but um yeah the main reason we're taking this out is to replace the battery so let's go ahead and do that um this has these little tabs that it looks like you use to pull it out okay i mean you don't have to use these plastic tabs to do it but it looks like that's what they're there for so we'll get that and we'll just pull that out and here you go we got this connector out uh, make sure you don't damage this if you do there is a model number on the bottom okay if you need that and make sure you plug it back the same way. The sub goes over here to this board and the main goes to the main or motherboard. Okay, now battery has a few screws. I think only four, four screws. Okay, so we're gonna remove those four screws and then we're gonna pop the battery out. Hopefully the replacement battery we got is correct um, because I had to go base off just the model number of the laptop and they kind of use a generic thing. So yeah, all right, we're gonna remove these four. Okay, now that we got those four screws out, we can go ahead and lift this up. So I just go underneath here and we're just gonna pop this up, okay? So lift underneath and pop this out just like that. I think I might have another customer here right now, but there we go, we got the battery out. 
Okay, we're gonna get the replacement battery. Came in this baggie. They covered up all the Samsung stuff with this warranty thing. But uh, here you can see, oh, I'm getting a customer here. So let me put this back together and then we should be good to go. All right. All right so let me get these screws back in. All right, pretty simple, four screws and that one connector. And then the bottom case screws, of course. But uh, this battery seems very easy to replace. Make sure to push this in so it connects all the way. Um, I did forget to mention that there is the CMOS or BIOS battery here, up here. All right, and if you need to remove that, you have to kind of slide it that way and then lift it up. Usually I use a small flathead screwdriver to push it that way and lift it out. All right. But um, yeah, all right. So I don't know, this connector doesn't seem to like hold in very nice, like the design. There, I feel like there should be screws up here. But anyways, it looks like it's okay. Um, let me actually clean this a little bit because these fans are a little bit dusty. Not too bad, but uh, might as well since it's open. All right, let me clean the other side as well. I'm brushing it off into my trash can next to me. Oops, my customer's here, so I need to be quick. All right. Okay. All right, let me clean this out real quick. Okay, yeah, my customer's outside. I hear them. All right, let's get the connector back on. Okay, oops. Let's make sure there's no dust trapped in there. Okay, line this up. Push that in, line this up, push that in. There we go. And we just get this bottom cover back on. Uh-oh, getting more calls. Make sure everything is clicked together. Let me zoom out a bit. Go, and we'll just get all the screws back in and we should be good to go. All right, and that's pretty much all there is to this. Hopefully this video helped. There isn't too much to upgrade in here other than the SSD and changing the battery. But um, yeah, anyways, you're welcome to stay as I get back all the screws. Thanks for watching. Again, if this video helped you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, that's all there is to it. You're welcome to stay again. Um, we are going to power this on one time just to make sure. And I might have to plug it in, but the customer only brought like an Acer charger. I don't think I have this charger. Um, so hopefully it will just turn on with the battery that's in the, the charge that's in the battery. And we'll see. All right. Let's get this back in. All right. And let's go ahead and power it up real quick. And we'll see. Okay. Open that up. And open this up. And let's see. Okay, it's powering on. I see the blue light and we should be good to go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.